try that and see. Good morning. <laughs> morning. We got Marsha. Or evening. Or evening. Or whatever yeah. you want to call it. They get this in the morning, so I always say morning. But it, we always do it. I do it in the evening. It's uh, it's nice. We come down here. Uh, I've got my scriptures down here. I've got, you know, it's it's all. Of course, you've got your scriptures <laughs> with the thing back. <laughs> you know, I <laughs> I've been going through this. What I've got here to share, and I just I've been typing it all out, getting it all right, and had to redo it because I didn't have the right the right word, the right translation. So I've redone. Had to go through it all. And I printed it off, but I haven't went through it now because there's so much to put in an order that flows, which that's fine. You know, this is the Word of God, and we don't add to it. We can't add to it. Uh, we have freedom in Christ. We have freedom to explore anything we want. It's not all expedient, you know. We got to be rooted and grounded in love. Yeah. Yep, that's what we got to be rooted and grounded. And so, for, we, and we have freedom. We do have freedom in Christ to explore whatever we want. But it's not, it's not all expedient. Uh, Look here on, on page 97. I just, <laughs> just found it before I turned the video on. Be expedient, the Greek element is. Together, carry. It's together. To be expedient. It's not all expedient. But, anyway. We have that. And I've got... <laughs> we've got to be pursuing love. That's, you know, we got to stay focused in that. And I've got quite a bit here I, that we're going to go through. And it's not all... I won't do it all at one time. Because there's a Thank lot here. God. Yeah, it's... I got, I got several pages here, things that I've went through, and just if I drop it, it's going to be a mess. So I'll pull up a paper and we'll go through it, and and go to a place where I need, I can stop, and then we'll we'll continue it later. And I don't know how long this is going to be. I have no idea. Looks like we go all through Ephesians. This one is Ephesians one through twenty-two. So that's so there's that. <laughs> But we'll pursue this together and, and see where it comes out. Because I have no idea what I, what this is, is. You know, I get in there and get to writing and typing, looking things up and words, you know. It becomes a, it is a passion in me. And that's what we do. You know, we're in this together. You are my brothers and sisters in Christ. And that brother and sister, you look them up, are the same. I don't, I wish I wrote those it's down. Feminine. It's a feminine noun, or noun. And together uterus i think it was but i have to look it up to be sure look it up it's in it's in the back of this bible this book here this scriptures it's not a bible it's the scriptures and in the back of it is the greek elements and through here you'll find the words that, that pertain to the greek and how they was translated so that's a good with the, the concordant literal new testament okay and you can get that from concordant dot i'll leave okay. i'll leave it down in the in the comment and down in the show more so let's get into this before i get to rattling now wait a minute now any of you sisters that want to call me and talk to me i'm home almost every day well yeah the majority of the days i'm home <laughs> and if you're afraid to call me afraid i'm busy Send me a message. Send me a text. My email is not working, so that's not going to work. <laughs> so it's got to be on Messenger, <coughs> on text messages. But I'll talk to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. We got to, yeah. You may want me to shut up after a while, but yeah. You know, this is neat. I looked up the word pursue because we're pursuing love. That's what we got to do. That's what uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and... That's what we got to do, pursue love. And I looked up the word pursue. It means, it said to see, persecute. So I looked up persecute. It says, chase. Persecute with evil intent. <laughs> 
pursue with good. That's what it means when you get to look and pursuing the word pursue up. See, persecute, we're being, it's a, to persecute, to chase, to pursue with a good intent. See, that's on page 222 of this thing, of this, re, this reference here. This is coming apart. I had. I don't know how he remembers that, people. No, I, I don't. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, well, I don't, my memory is, is, <laughs> we are being created in, you know, think about this. We'll get to that, but think about this. Consider it. We was in Christ. We were part of him from the beginning. So, and we are we are being created in the image of Christ, who was created in the image of his father. So we are being created in the same image of Christ. So we are being created in the Father. In the image of our Father, through Christ. <laughs> Don't start crying. Okay, it just. I will smack you. <laughs> we're groaning. You know, look, we're groaning. You, you better we're, groan. We're groaning inside. You know, we groan. It's look, we're groan. It's cramping. To cramp. <laughs> groan is to cramp. You know, we're we're groaning inside. We're we're yearning for the for all this to, to to fall into place. And so we got to pursue, all right? Well, let's start off here in Romans 1. <laughs> we'll go 1 through 7. All right, this introduces us to Apostle Paul. And we stick with this. We stick with Paul's letters for a purpose. And we look up the word purpose. <laughs> Paul, a slave, a slave of Christ Jesus, a called apostle, severed for the evangel of God, which he promises through his prophets and the holy scriptures, concerning his son, who comes of the seed of David according to the flesh, who is designated son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection of the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom we obtained obtained grace and apostleship for faith obedience among all the nations for his name's sake among whom are you also the called of jesus christ to all who are in rome beloved by god called saints grace to you and peace from god our father and the lord jesus christ that's getting us introduced to paul you know, we've been justified by the resurrection, by uh, Christ being roused out from the dead. We have roused because of justification. So get over to uh, Romans 5, and we'll go over verse 1, and go through 10. And we see what justified. We said, being then justified by faith, we may be having peace toward God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have the access also by faith into this grace in which we stand. <laughs> and we may be glorying in expectation of the glory of God. How do we get this faith? I've, you know, that's been one that I've struggled with before, before recently. You know, it says, in faith are you saved. Well, whose faith is it? It's Jesus. It's Christ. It's the faith that was in Jesus when he was that's the faith we have. That's the Christ. The, okay, so how do we get that? I always wonder. Mustard seed, so. Yeah, the faith of a mustard seed. If only we had that. Well, this this faith that we have from Christ, his faith dwells in us. Christ dwells, his spirit dwells in us. And it's the faith of Christ in us where we have this. This is by that faith, by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we may be glorying in expectation of the glory of God. Yet, not only so, but we may be glorying also in afflictions, having perceived that affliction is producing endurance. Yet, endurance, testedness. And yet, testedness, expectation. Now, expectation is not mortifying, seeing that the love of God 
has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which is being given to us. <laughs> See, that spirit <laughs> has been given to us. We had nothing to do with it. <laughs> For Christ, while we are still infirm, still in the core of the era, for the sake of the irreverent died. He gave it all up. Wow. For hardly the sake of a just man will anyone be dying. For for the sake of a good man, perhaps someone may even be daring to die. Yet God, I love that, yet God is commending this love of his to us, seeing that while we are still sinners, Christ died for our sake. Much rather than being now justified in his blood, we shall be saved from indignation through him. For if being enemies, we were conciliated to God through the death of his son. Much rather, being conciliated, we shall be saved in his life. Yet, not only so, but we are glorying also in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we now obtained the conciliation. <laughs> We've been given a massive, a massive gift. <laughs> See, a massive. We've been given something that it's unbelievable we've been given. Go to Romans 12, verse, no, verse 3 to 21. All right, I'm watching my time. It's up there. I'm watching that. I don't want to get long. For I am saying, through the grace which is given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to be overweening beyond that, beyond what your disposition must be, to be of a sane disposition, as God parts each the, the measure of faith. See, God does it. He's been parted. We... For even as in one body we have many members, many members, yet all the members have not the same function. Thus we who are many are one body in Christ, yet individually members of one another. Now, having graces excelling, having graces excelling in accord with the grace which is given to us. Wow. Wow. Now having graces excelling in accord with the grace which is given to us, whether well, prophecy exercise it in accord with the analogy of the faith, or dispensing in the dispensation, or the teacher in teaching, or the entreater in entreating, the sharer with generosity, the presider with diligence, and the merciful one with glee. Let love be unfeigned abhorring that which is wicked and clinging to the good. Let us have fond affections for one another with brotherly fondness, in honor, deeming one another first, in diligence, not slothfulness, fervent in spirit, slaving for the Lord, rejoicing in expectation, enduring affliction, persevering in prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, and pursuing hospitality. Bless those who are persecuting you. Bless, do not curse. So as to be rejoicing with those rejoicing, lamenting with those lamenting, being mutual, being mutually disposed to one another, not disposed to that which is high, but being led away to the to the humble. Do not come to be to pass for prudent with yourselves. To no one render evil for evil, making ideal provisions in the sight of all men, if possible, that which comes out from yourself. Being at peace with all mankind, you are not avenging yourself, beloved, but the giving place to his indignation. With, For it is written, Mine is vengeance, I will repay, the Lord is saying. But if your enemy should be hungering, give him the morsel. If he should be thirsting, 
give him to drink. For in doing this, you will be heaping embers of fire on his head. Be not conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. <laughs> He's pursuing love. <coughs> it's all about love. It's all love. Let's go one more. To no one, this is Romans 13, verse 8 through 14. To no one owe anything except to be loving one another. For he who is loving another has fulfilled law. What law is that? That's God's law. It says to love one another. For this, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not testify falsely. You shall not covet. And if there is any other precept, it is summed up in this saying. Here it is. In this, you shall love your associate as yourself. Love is not working evil with an associate. Associate is a big word. The complement, then, of law is love. This also do, being aware that of the era, that it is already the hour for us to be roused out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than, we, than when we believe. That's, wow. Let me read that one again. <laughs> the compliment then is of law, is law, or is love. This also do, being aware to, of the error that it is already the hour for us to be roused out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Or the scriptures on the right hand side, it says, Rouse, O drowsy one. I'll have to find that. All right, it's on the right hand side, top right. The night, <laughs> the night progresses, yet the day is near. We then should be putting off the acts of darkness. Yet should be pursuing, we should be, re, yet should be putting on the implements of light. As in the day, respectably should be walk, be walking, not in reveries and drunkennesses. Not in chambering and wantonnesses, not in strife and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and be making no provisions for the lust of the flesh. See, all is we have freedom. We can we can pursue what we want to, but it's not all expedient. It's it's pursuing love. You got to do we got to pursue love. The things of the world is passing, it's gonna go away. So why would we want to be a part of things that's going to fade away? Why pursue love? We pursue this through Scripture as Paul tells us in Scripture to pursue. So I want to look this word up over in. It's on the right-hand side. I believe it's in Ephesians. Let me flip over here. If y'all ain't got one of these, this is this right here, the way this here works. I got those papers in a in a thing. I took it apart. But you can just flip through that thing. Man, that makes it nice. Let me get over to Ephesians. I passed it. It's in Ephesians 5. I think it's on the right-hand side. Okay. Ephesians 5, verse 14. And this is where we're at. These are the ones that's pursuing love. We are being roused out of a stupor. And it mentioned it right there in the one I just read. We are being... Uh, I'd have to look it up. It's right there. We just read it. But right here it says in verse 14 of Ephesians 5, Wherefore he is saying, Rouse, O drowsy one, and rise out from among the dead, and Christ shall dawn upon you. See, through the, we, through the flesh we die, through the spirit we live. We have a worth seeking life eonian, which is a promise that has been given to us. That's what we're pursuing is life eonian. And to do that, it's all in love. It's all of God. It's all of Him. It's all through Him and to Him and for Him. It's all God. And we got to pursue that. So, anyway, we're 20 minutes into this thing. <laughs> Did you get you a skeeter? I got a skeeter. Marsha's not, she don't want to be seen, which that's fine. We're, we're down here. 
But I'm in my nightgown. She's in her nightgown. I wasn't going to say that. But anyway, it's all him. We understand that. Don't focus on the flesh. When we focus on the fruits of the Spirit, then the flesh will go, will, will be, it, we don't even consider the things of the flesh. So, you know, that's what scriptures tell me, and I believe what, we can't add to this. We don't add to it. I don't put my thoughts into it. It's what scripture says. So, anyway, anything you want to you want to say to these folks while we're still here, my brothers yeah. and sisters? Just I love you. Yep. It's awesome. I looked up those brother and sister in the concordant. It's, it's uh, simultaneous uterus. It's a Greek element. <laughs> and and then you had the scripture that That's says. That's because you guys come from the uterus. It's, yeah. Uh, it says that there's not male or female or Greek or Jew, for we are all one in Christ. But anyway, I'll mark this where we're at. Where did we quit at? I didn't get you any pencil. Any I don't have any idea where we stopped. <laughs> it's a real struggle. <laughs> it's a real struggle. Oh, where's my pencil? <laughs> you guys, it's a real struggle over on this side, too. He but, thinks I'm going to keep him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll listen to this again. I'll know where I stopped because I have no idea. I don't know. It's not, you know, I don't take any, it's nothing here to brag on. It's nothing for me. It's not mine. This is all of God. And, and you know, we have this in us to, to pursue. So, grace and peace to y'all. We love you. We really love y'all. Thank you for hanging out with us. And ladies, call me if you, please sisters, do. call me. And we need the encouragement. We, we've we been through some struggles here. We've had some struggles. And nothing like the uplifting of just, some, just a phone call. Just a phone call. And I know you ladies all, all my sisters have struggles. Yeah. It's well, just the way life is. We're human. That's part of our being human. So, I get sick of the struggle. Yeah. Yep, we do. All right, you want to see your face in there and wave at them? No. No, see, that's the way it I'll is. I'll do this. <laughs> no nightgown shirts. She Sorry. gave you a hand of fellowship. <laughs> How's that? Did that work? Yeah. Let me show you a hand of fellowship. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're grandma. You see y'all later. And uh, it's time to go see what God's got for us. Look what he's done already. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow. See you then.